Welcome to my worst nightmare. <laughs> what might be the future of our democracy? This is the totalitarian dictatorship, a government that should never be used. The hydrogen bomb, 10 times the power of all explosives used in World War II combined, a weapon that should never be used. Systems for mass surveillance and control, centralized data collection powered by AI. This is the perfect tool for the surveil surveillance state, a system that should never be used. All of this is happening right now. In China, we have a totalitarian surveillance state led by a dictator for life. This might be where we're all heading in the next decade. And we seem powerless to do anything about it. This is the battle between power and autonomy. So how did we end up here? Well, let's take a closer look at the origin of autonomy. Autonomy is free from external control, with the power to pursue whatever purpose it chooses. Even though every one of us is born with the capacity for autonomy, we can all choose to give it up. But why would we do that? Because we are slaves. Slaves to our needs. So let's talk about needs. The needs we are born with, and the needs we create for ourselves, and the needs we create for each other. This is the struggles of autonomy. Being in control of all our needs, our basic needs, our psychological needs, and the need for self-actualization and purpose. In order to move up this mountain, we need to start at the bottom and work our way up. In the early days of humanity, moving up the first couple of steps was a battle for survival of humankind. So how do we create the conditions that let us experience self-actualization? We have probably all looked at the sky dreaming of a better tomorrow, sometimes alone, other times together with friends or family. This is when we decide to pull our forces together in pursuit of self-actualization through building a collective purpose. Can purpose be shared? What does that even mean? How do we as a society, community, tribe or family build a collective purpose. Is that what we are doing through companies, religions and national states? This is the power of collective purpose. This is what we can achieve when we are at our best. But as we all know, this unfortunately is not all that we can achieve. And it's not the end. Let's take a closer look at power. Power is the capacity to direct or influence the behavior of others and the turn of events. Power can control us, or power can enable us. As we joined forces to work for survival, we willingly gave up autonomy to the tribe and the governing system of the tribe in pursuit of that collective purpose. In the beginning, this model was serving us well as we managed to serve the basic needs for everyone in the tribe. And the tribe still had value left. But that is where it starts going wrong. Through elevating power as a controller, rather than an enabler of our collective purpose, power is now in control of our resources and the distribution, and also defines the purpose. This is when power starts building its ego and pursuing its own purpose. Controlling fire. This is an early breakthrough technology. A powerful technology serving both autonomy and power. And opening massive amounts of opportunities for value creation. As power was growing in the early days of human large-scale society, a gap is being created. A surplus value creation is transferred to those in power in exchange for basic services. 
The printing revolution occurred when the spread of printing press facilitated the wide circulation of information and ideas, acting as an agent of change. As power discovered how to control this technology, everything changed. The gap between power and autonomy keeps increasing as power ta starts taking control of new technology. At this point, power has basically hijacked our autonomy, controlling the creation and distribution of value, and the power to make us uh, work in pursuit of whatever purpose power chooses. This gap keeps increasing as we develop more and more powerful technology throughout the industrial age. And power is still growing as we're entering the next stage. So what will happen to value creation and technology as we're now entering the digital revolution, not even considering the age of AI? What will be the shape of power? How much value will be created? Who will control this value? If we measure value creation in data, we can expect an exponential growth of value creation in the years to come. As we are becoming a society of exponential value creation, how will power look and act? Welcome to the future of private superpowers, a world where massive power is held in the hands of a few non-democratic leaders. Here is one of them coming from a private meeting with the president of France. Something's wrong with this picture, right? This is what happens when most of our society is still running on more than two centuries old technology. When it comes to changing our current direction, a direction of increased inequality, destruction of the environment, and the even faster increase in the gap between power and autonomy, we seem to be failing massively. We are moving full speed ahead into the future of the totalitarian dictatorship as described by Orwell's 1984. This is the death of autonomy. We need to use the emergency handle. The time to pivot is now. Some of you might already have kids. Some of you might already have grandkids. At this time, when any information, any connection, an unimaginable capacity for creating and destruction is at the fingertips of our gener next generation, we get to choose what we would like this to become. Can digital technology be the second chance for autonomy? It is time to show the generation growing up today that we are worthy the task and their trust. We need to commit to change, taking firm actions every day. We need to remake power. We need to restructure power. We need to reshape all powers. We need a new declaration of independence. To establish a new rule set for the human experience, we need to create new technology. Technology based on sustainable values that serve people and planet. This should be our collective purpose. This is autonomy running on conscious technology. This could be the new shape of power, serving every one of us equally, enabling the full potential of our collective purpose, empowering the human experience. It is up to every single one of us to start making choices that moves us towards a better tomorrow. Every time we use our voice, our phone, our computer, our money, or any other source of value, we can choose to contribute to power, or we can choose to empower autonomy. Thank you.